Yo guys, what's good? It's Ira here and today I'm going to be talking about and covering how to use blinds, roots and other forms of crowd control to their best ability and also how to read incoming damage from warriors and other classes as an engineer. Though this video should hold some value for everyone of every class with some of the information that I'm going to be sharing. Now basically what I'm going to be talking about is how to blind and how to root people so you minimise damage how to make comebacks in situations where you might be outnumbered or outgunned. Anyway, enough talking, let's get into the first clip that I'm going to show you guys. So what you'll notice is I'm in a hut join and basically my aim of every hut join is to attract three or four people onto me on Chieftain. So I'm going to open straight onto this mesmer with a daze, you know, get some damage, basic damage onto him while Chieftain's still on him. I do draw Chieftain's aggro, so what I'm going to do is drop a smoke bomb down so he misses his next attack on me that will stun me and the mesmer will miss his attack. Now I notice a load of them coming to me so I give myself stability just so if they do try balls charge me or knock me down I'll be fine. I then use my elixir S to get small so they can't get me and drop an ultimate onto all of them while maintaining dots onto Chieftain. I drop confusion down on the ground and a glue trap just so they can't move onto me and then I try to get the buff. I don't get it but I've still got two or three more people on me so I'm basically just going to try to dodge away from them. As you'll notice I put my block down just as they open onto me with a huge amount of damage and block everything. I then use my heals and basically I'm just going to put my smoke bomb down as I notice there's a warrior 100 blades in me and a necro going into me along with a mesmat. I still manage to drop lower my magnetic shield props. But just as I'm about to die, I drop my F4, which is my Elixir R, and manage to revive myself by gripping in the Necro that's about to stun me. So as I get up, I know now that they're going to try Zerg me, basically. So I'm going to put a glue trap down and a big and a confusion bomb and a big bomb in case anyone balls charges me or goes onto me. And he tries to balls charge and gets knocked away by big bomb, which stops his hundred blades. I've still got a Necro on me, so I'm going to use the five and then throw my shield at him to daze him. So he can't get any more attacks onto me as he's doing a fair amount of damage onto me and I'm only on 3k. I then blind him just to stop anything else and my team comes and clears up the fight and we end up winning that fight. And we actually end up getting Henge and we end up getting Mines and we actually end up getting Key later on in the game. Just because, you know, I managed to keep 3 or 4 or 5 of them at there at the start. Now the next fight is going to be against a warrior and talking about how to deal with him. As you notice he pops his cooldown from balls charges. I just dodge and I'm not sure I got the dodge so I use my elixir S just to stay small and I actually end up dodging his whirl as well. So his whole opening damage has been mitigate, uh, mitigated. I then blind him and then put a big bomb down as I notice his shield block's going to end and he's going to get a big knockback if he comes into me which he does end up getting. I'm then going to get like basic bleeds onto him with a glue trap on the ground in case he comes to me he's going to be crippled. He gets the cripple and I then stun him and then I'm going to knock him back just to keep distance away from me because 100 blades warriors really can do huge damage. As I notice he heals to clear conditions and then charges me I then use my elixir R to jump away from him and break the stun and drop fire and confusion soon onto the ground. Basically I'm just going to keep my damage going onto him and keep my health at full. This is the way you want to fight against warriors making sure they don't get any you know, room into you. So I've got static shock onto him and just get my poisons down and it's a pretty easy kill. And if you just make sure you dodge the 100 blades like that, it's going to be no problem for you.
And another tip I can give you guys is when you're against warriors, always look for their 100 blades and their burst and try to have a bomb kit out so if you do get caught in it, you can always smoke bomb it. As you see here, I smoke bomb it and I notice he's going to bulls charge me as well so I dodge out the bulls charge. Bulls charge is very easy to notice if you're quick enough with it and you should be able to dodge it most of the time. Anyway guys, that's it for today. Um, sorry, it is a bit shorter than I would have wanted it to be, but I feel like keeping the videos under you know, eight, nine minutes would be a smarter idea. So I'm gonna have more uh, NG tips and tricks if you do want them. I'll have more Guardian ones, more Thief ones, basically any class I'm playing. I'll try and get a good feel for it after a few days and try and make these videos if they do help anyone. So yeah guys, if you did like it, please like, subscribe, do all those good things for me, yeah, and I will speak to you guys very soon.